Hello and welcome to my new sequels of a quickie. In today's sequels of a quickie, I want to talk about the plan cache in SQL Server. The plan cache is the memory area within SQL Server that stores execution plans. Every time when you execute a query in SQL Server, the first thing that the query optimizer does is to compile a physical execution plan and, the, and that execution plan is then stored in the plan cache for further reuse. If you run the same query again, SQL Server will find the already cached plan in the plan cache and can reuse it. With the reuse of a cached plan, you can lower your CPU and memory consumption because the query optimizer doesn't need to compile an execution plan again and again. Now let's switch over to the flip chart where I want to explain when SQL Server is able to reuse cached plans and when that reuse is not possible. I want to show you now on the flip chart how you can influence with your SQL queries if SQL Server is able to reuse a cached plan. Imagine in that example we have three queries and we are lazy programmers and we provide just hard coded parameter values where id equals 1, id equals 2, id equals 3, id equals 4. In that case, because the complete SQL statement, the text itself, is for every SQL query different, SQL Server has to compile a fresh new execution plan and caches that plan in the plan cache of SQL Server. As you will see later in the SMS demo, this concept is very, very dangerous and is called plan cache pollution when you just provide hard coded parameter values. Imagine now you have the same SQL statement. So we have again a select from a specific table where ID equals, and instead of a hard coded parameter value, we just provide a parameter value. In that case, SQL Server just generates one plan and reuses that plan over and over and over again with just different parameter values. It means when you have parameter with SQL statements, SQL Server is able to reuse your cached plan, it means you lower your CPU and also your memory consumption. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I will demonstrate that specific problem to you. In this demonstration, I want to show you how you can negatively affect the plan cache in SQL Server when you work with hard-coded parameter values instead of parameterizing them. In front of you, you can see some simple C-sharp code from a .NET application that I have written for this demonstration. As you can see, I'm using a while loop to make 10,000 calls of a simple select statement against the table sales.salesorderdetail in the AdventureWorks database. And because I'm a lazy programmer, I haven't parameterized the SQL statement. I just provide a hard-coded parameter values. This means that for every execution of the SQL statement, we get a different SQL statement and therefore SQL Server is not able to reuse the cached plan. The result is that SQL Server will compile 10,000 execution plans and for every individual plan will be cached in the plan cache. Therefore, you will waste a lot of CPU and memory resources. I have already run this application and as you can see from the output, the execution of this simple function took around one minute and we cached around 160 megabytes of data in the plan cache. That's a huge amount of data in the plan cache for just one simple query. You can also look into the plan cache with the dynamic management view, system exec cached plans. 
Every record that is returned from this DMV is one cached plan in the plan cache of SQL Server. And as you can see from the output, SQL Server caches an individual plan for every query that we have submitted. The only difference in the SQL statement itself is the hard-coded parameter value. This specific problem is called plan cache pollution because you pollute the plan cache with the same SQL statement over and over again. And now I want to show you how SQL Server can reuse a cached plan by changing the implementation of my .NET application. I have here another function and this one is doing the same thing using a while loop to call the same SQL statement 10,000 times. But as you can see from the code, this time I was not lazy and I have provided a parameter value. Therefore, SQL Server compiles the execution plan only once and afterwards the cached plan can be reused over and over again. The execution of this function took around 40 seconds, so it was faster than the previous one. This makes sense because only one execution plan was compiled during its, its execution and the whole size of the plan cache is not only around 300 kilobytes instead of 160 megabytes. That's also a huge difference. And when we look again into the plan cache, we can see that we now have only one parameterized plan which was executed 10,000 times. With this simple change in your data access code, we can save around 20 second CPU time and we also had a huge saving of memory in the plan cache itself. Impressive, isn't it? In this SQL Server Quickie, I have introduced the plan cache to you. SQL Server stores execution plans in the plan cache for further reuse. As you have seen and learned, it is very important to make sure that SQL Server can reuse cached plans. When you provide hard-coded parameter values for a SQL statement, SQL Server isn't really able to reuse cached plans. Therefore, you pollute the plan cache with a huge amount of different execution plans which are almost exactly the same. You are wasting a lot of CPU and memory resources. Therefore, you should always be sure to parameterize the SQL statements that you send to SQL Server. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server wiki and I'm already looking forward to see you next month again. Thanks for watching.